What's up everybody, the 2020 Overwatch Summer Games event is fast approaching, and as always, the Overwatch community couldn't be more excited, right? Wrong. Overwatch players hate the Summer Games event. They always have, and they always will. But why? What is it about Overwatch's summer event that causes much of the player base to harbor everything from indifference to downright discontent for what on the surface appears to be a perfectly fine, more or less typical limited time event? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to delve into with today's video. This is Master EN Gamer, and before we get into it, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe and score that bell icon if you end up enjoying this video to never miss out on any future Overwatch news and content. But now, let's take a look at why players hate the Overwatch Summer Games event. So before I start delving into why it's so unpopular, I need to emphasize that, of course, not everyone hates the event. Heck, I'm sure the majority of players at least like it, and would rather have it exist than not. But you can't deny that it's pretty far down on the average player's event tier list. And maybe you watching this at home even go so far as to rank it as your personal favorite event of the year. That's perfectly fine. Everyone is free to have their own preferences of skins, game modes, and other event factors, but as someone who has been playing Overwatch constantly since it launched back in 2016, I can say with certainty that, on average, Summer Games is quite possibly the least popular out of the six yearly events. So now let's take a look at the reasons why. Starting with the most evident reason, we have the skins and other cosmetic items. While hero aesthetics will always be subjective and each person has their own preferences of what looks good, you can't deny that these sports-themed skins just aren't that popular. Having spent thousands of hours in game, I can honestly say that not many people actually equip these summer skins. Sure, there are some people who do, and personally, I like to use them during the actual summer games event to get into the summer mood, but their popularity pales in comparison to skins from just about any other event. And this extends to the other cosmetic items as well. Emotes, victory poses, and highlight intros themed around different sports or Olympic medals just aren't in high demand, despite making up a significant portion of this event's loot pool. Sure, you'll see a boxing bastion or junk rat shot put every now and again, but by and large, these aren't cosmetics that a ton of people end up equipping. I'm sure that most of you would agree that, historically, these just haven't gotten the community super excited in the same way as many other cosmetic items. If I had to hazard a guess as to why, I'd chalk it up to their probably not being a whole ton of overlap between people who play Overwatch and people who play physical sports like football and baseball. But that's just my assumption. However, players' disinterest in the Summer Games event runs much deeper than just the skins and cosmetics in its loot boxes. After all, the sports theme only makes up half of the event's items. The other half are beach-themed, which I must say have quite the opposite reputation. For reasons that are, should we say, self-evident, the Summer Games beach skins and cosmetics are very popular throughout the community. So even if the sports skins drag the event down, the beach skins pull it right back up again. Therefore, there must be more than just cosmetics dragging down the event's popularity, and indeed, there is. The next major reason is another one you've probably thought of yourself, and that's Lucio Ball. Yes, Lucio Ball may in fact be the most divisive game mode in all of Overwatch, with some players absolutely adoring the mode, and others despising its very existence. On the one hand, it's certainly a unique game mode that offers players something different from the usual clickheads-based gameplay, but it's also very simple. I'm sure most people enjoyed it the first few times they played it, but it grows stale rather quickly. The overall clunky mechanics of it, in addition to the painfully long goal replay feature makes the mode downright insufferable for many people. And all that is on top of the fact that Blizzard has barely changed the mode at all since its inception back in 2016. Outside of some slight balance and gameplay tweaks after its first year, the mode has played pretty much the exact same ever since then. Even with the addition of new maps to the mode, they only changed the visuals outside of the arena. The maps themselves are all physically identical. Identical. But even if you're one of the many people who feel like booping your own brain after just two seconds of playing Lucio Ball, you can always just ignore the mode and play something else, right? 
wrong. For the entire duration of Summer Games, Lucio Ball and Copa Lucio Ball take up two whole slots in the arcade. That means if you're just trying to go about your day and want to play some other modes in the arcade, there's a lesser chance of those other modes actually being available due to Lucio Ball taking up space. Funnily enough, you could classify this as a legit reason to despise the event's very existence. But with it only running for three weeks, it really isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't think you could very well justify hating the event based simply on this factor, but given Lucio Ball's low reputation, it definitely contributes to the overall event's low popularity. However, while event cosmetics in Lucio Ball may be factors in why many players don't care for the summer games, I think the single biggest reason is actually one which most players have never even considered, and that's its position within the yearly Overwatch calendar. While development of Overwatch 2 has caused many aspects of this cycle to change over the past year, the one thing which has remained consistent is the order of events. With Overwatch having launched in late May, the sequence of events goes Summer Games, Halloween Terror, Winter Wonderland, Lunar New Year, Archives, Anniversary. And as odd as it may seem, Summer Games being the first event in the yearly cycle actually has a pretty major impact on how players perceive it. You see, ever since the first year of events, players have been excitedly awaiting each successive year in hopes that it'll bring about not just new cosmetic items with each event, but new events entirely. And each year so far, this anticipation for something new has been met with the same old events coming back around again. And guess which event gets to be the messenger to deliver the disappointing reality that will be another 12 months of the same? That's right, Summer Games. After four years of bearing bad news to the community, it's no surprise that people's perception of the summer event specifically has eroded over time. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, Summer Games has become the image of letdown. And of all the events to kick off each year of repeats, it couldn't have been Archives with its various PvE missions or Winter Wonderland with its decent variety of game modes. No, it has to be Summer Games with its repetitive Lucio Ball. And on top of being forced to bear us bad news every year, Summer Games also has the misfortune of following Archives and Anniversary, the two arguably most popular events of the entire year. After these two absolute banger events and everything they have to offer, Summer Games just feels lackluster in comparison. Not to mention the fact that Anniversary, the event which immediately precedes Summer Games, lets players play game modes from every other event during it. This means that the people who do care about playing Lucio Ball will likely play it during Anniversary, and thus be less eager to play it again just a couple months later. Overall, Anniversary just really takes the wind out of Summer Games sales. And while we're on the topic of timing, I know for a fact that I'm not the only one who hates the fact that Summer Games, Overwatch's one and only summer event, doesn't start until early August. Would you wait to the very end of summer to go to the beach or pool or do whatever other summer activity it is you love doing? Well, I guess depending on your school, work, or whatever other schedule, you might not have a choice in the matter. But the point I'm getting at is that people in general are more excited to celebrate the summertime at the start of the summer, not at the end. By the time August rolls around, many people have already had enough of the heat and humidity and are ready for that first cool autumn breeze to roll in. Now, like it being the first in Overwatch's yearly event cycle, you could say that Summer Games is somewhat a victim of circumstance in this late summer aspect. The original Summer Games event back in 2016 was based on the 2016 Summer Olympics, which started in early August. On top of that, with each Overwatch event being pretty evenly spaced out so that they take place once every two months, there's really no room to bump Summer Games up any earlier than maybe mid to late July. Any earlier would be placing it mighty close to Anniversary, which, if you didn't know, celebrates the anniversary of Overwatch's release, and thus cannot in turn be pushed up or changed from its usual start date in late May. So all in all, Summer Games falls victim to a number of different reputation degrading factors. Its unfortunate time slot in both the calendar year and Overwatch event cycle, in addition to having a repetitive subpar game mode and an unpopular cosmetics theme, has, over the years, given Summer Games a pretty poor reputation in the eyes of the community. 
Once again, that's not to say that everyone hates it, as I know for a fact that many people do enjoy the cosmetics it has to offer, and yes, even Lucio Ball, but overall, when looking at all the factors affecting it, it's clear to say why Summer Games just doesn't generate these same levels of hype as many other Overwatch events. I by no means would say that it's a bad event outright, but definitely pretty low on the tier list. However, these have just been my thoughts and observations on why so many people dislike the Summer Games. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you love or hate the Summer Games event, and what is it about it that makes you feel that way? As always, be sure to subscribe, score that bell, follow me on Twitter at MasterENGamer, and check out my Discord server to never miss any future Overwatch news and content. If you'd like to support my videos, then you can hit that join button down below to become a channel member and unlock some cool rewards like the people you see here on screen. Otherwise, this is Master EN Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.